I'm going to show you how to use a how to do a Commvault client backup and have that backup go to a Cloudian Hyperstore object storage uh, S3 buckets uh, as the destination uh, for that backup. So first, let's take a look at uh, some configurations that we have done in our lab environment for this demo. Uh, first of all, let's log into our uh, Cloudian Management Console. We can see the various uh, buckets or S3 compatible buckets that we have defined in our platform, in our Canon platform uh, to be used with Commvault. For the purpose of this demo, we're going to focus on the first four uh, buckets, uh, the uh, Commvault 01, B1 to B4. Uh, it should be noted that uh, as with any S3 bucket, I can actually use um, any S3 browser uh, to able to uh, browse uh, and take a look at the content of my buckets. In this case here, you'll see as an alternative, I can use the Amazon S3 browser that I've configured to connect uh, with the proper uh, key, access key and uh, secret key uh, to connect uh, to my uh, combo buckets and you can take a look and, and view uh, the content of my uh, combo buckets. In this case here, you'll see that combo has already created a folder structure. I actually have some virtual volumes defined already in there because of previous uh, backups that are stored in, uh, in these buckets. So to continue, I'm going to log in uh, to the Commvault command center uh, first. And uh, so we can perform, take a look at some configuration and perform some backups. I'm also going to uh, log in to the legacy console, 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 and we can take a look at a few things uh, there a little later when the backups are running. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to do that for now. So that we have that open and ready uh, when we need it. There we go. So going back to the command center, uh, let's take a look at uh, the storage that is defined uh, right now. So I have uh, cloud libraries already defined. And in this case, um, for the purpose of the demo, we're going to use this Cloudian Hyperstore default library. If I take a look at the library, you'll see that. Uh, I have uh, four, uh, the four buckets are uh, represented as four mount points for this library. So data can be distributed equally amongst uh, all the mount points. And uh, I have a couple of associated plans, uh, data protection plans already, uh, you know, the, that use uh, this uh, Cloudian cloud library uh, already. So we're going to use a default direct Cloudian uh, plan to take a look. Um, take a look what that looks like. It's basically a plan <coughs> that sends the data directly to the cloud library, which is hosted on the, the cloud in Hyperstore, has the primary location of uh, backup uh, data uh, during for the purpose of the demo. Um, so now that I have um, my Cloudian. Uh, Cloud library defined in Commvault. I have a plan that can use that library. We can actually now and go take a look at uh, uh, doing a backup. Uh, so uh, if I go to protect, uh, I have a couple, few file servers that are already defined. And if I take a look at this uh, client file server over here, <clears throat> I have a couple of, uh, I have a few uh, sub clients already defined for that uh, to for that server. I'm going to focus on the data to cloud sub clients, which basically backs up any data in the e data to cloud folder on the cloud and, and uses the uh, default uh, direct to Cloudian uh, data protection plan that we just viewed. So in this case here, I can actually run, launch the backup from here using the, the triple dot menu, or also as an option, I could have launched that backup from this triple dot menu from the file uh, server listing and select backup here as well. Select my data to cloud, uh, sub client, or backup set. And I'm going to do a full for the purpose of the demo uh, and launch the backup. So you see I have an indication that my job 2113 has already started. I can take a look at the details of that job. And I should have some progress indicators and so uh, to to display as well. This is where I'm going to also uh, go to my classic or legacy console 
And you'll see in the legacy console that uh, my job is already uh, showing up in the job controller section. And we can see some status indicators uh, for that job uh, running uh, on that console as well. So we'll wait for the job to progress. Looking at the legacy console, I can see here I have ability to view a little bit more detail about this job in terms of the number of streams that have been uh, allocated to this job and also um, the media that has been lined up uh, or prepared for this job as well. So you can see that in, in this case, I have all these virtual volumes that are going to be defined on my cloud libraries uh, to and will store uh, data for this job. So if I look at these uh, virtual volumes, uh, now you'll be able to see that if I go to my browser under the various buckets, I should be see a corresponding volume number that is associated with that job as listed now as a folder uh, for um, uh, that is you know, already defined in the bucket. Uh, same thing for uh, my four buckets, 620 and 622. Here, 625 and 618. So the, the, there are folders uh, in my directory structure in the buckets that correspond to the virtual volumes that Commonwealth is going to use uh, for the backup. I will let the backup progress and finish at this point. This will take a few minutes. Here we go. We see that I have more progress into uh, the backup job. You'll see from my number of streams that I've, are, are running, I have up to eight streams uh, as part of this job's uh, reader streams. Again, uh, all pointing to um, various uh, virtual volumes uh, in the library. Now we can see that my job actually uh, completed successfully uh, for the backup. If we go back to the, the legacy uh, console console, you'll see the same thing here. Again, if I go and if I take a look at the content of my various Cloud library mount point, you'll see that job 2113 as also as content now in each of the mount point um, that are defined um, in this library. So my backup is complete at this point. Um, you could eventually, uh, if you wanted to, uh, do a restore. Um, same, same way, uh, you have the ability to go and restore data for a specific uh, sub-client. Restore. Now, for the preferred sources demo, I'm just going to select uh, a single file and restore it to a different uh, location. I'll select the restore folder and select my job. Same way, I can go and take a look at the job that it's running. Simply take a look at the listing of jobs. And there's my restore job that is currently running. And it's complete. And that completes uh, today's demo. Thank you.